Well, it's coming along, it's coming along. So listen here, we're at the new house and we are doing the best that we can to get here as quickly as we can. We're in between moves right now. And so the next week or so, we're pushing really hard on getting all of our projects done. And I have so many questions that are coming in from you guys because apparently now America wants to be the crazy chicken lady. <laughs> Let me answer the most important question for you right now. Now, I have almost, is it 1,100 or 1,200 videos on YouTube? something like that <laughs> it's a lot so listen I want you to if you go into a Google search you can type in Appalachia's homestead or Patera because um, I don't know too many other Pateras on YouTube you can go to Patera it's on the coastal city it's a coastal city in Turkey it's beautiful uh, but nonetheless if you type in Appalachia's homestead and you type in chicken or baby chicks or broody hen, it's probably gonna bring up at any given time, three, five, 12, 10, 30 videos of me, various different videos showing you how I raise my chickens. And I've been raising chickens for like 10 years now. Uh, we've been at the new farm for uh, the, oh, excuse me, the other farm for seven years now. And I have a ton of videos on chickens, raising chickens, a lot on baby chicks, brooders, different types of brooders. My favorite ones, I mean, folks, I, I mean, everybody asks me, they're like, can you tell me how to raise baby chicks? And I'm not trying to be smart and say, well, have you watched any of my videos? But the given, the, I, the point is, is I already have so many videos and I'm in between moving from one farm to another one. And so I'm setting an entire new homestead up. What you're looking at right here is my new chicken coop. One of my chicken coops. So we are pressure washing. Look at how, look at the difference. Oh my gosh. So we're fortifying it. We're cleaning it. We're getting it set up. The basic setup. Uh, you can already see in here, I've already started bringing in nesting boxes and whatnot to set it up. This is what I want to drive home to you about homesteading. This is the most important tidbit of information that I have said for many years and I'm going to remind you of it right now. So pardon me if I sound a little bit negative Nelly. I'm really not. What I'm trying to do is save you a bunch of heartache right now because the reality is is regardless of any crisis, economic crisis, pandemic, catastrophe, apocalyptic situation that's going on right now, you're probably not going to become a very good homesteader overnight. Those of us that have developed skills and that halfway know what we're doing, half the time have been doing this for a year, five years, 10 years, a lifetime. Even if we weren't necessarily actively doing it, we probably grew up with it. I know I did hardcore around serious homesteaders and that's because we were around older generations that didn't do anything but, okay? Now, a lot of people are rushing out right now and are getting baby chicks. Why? Why are you doing that? <laughs> if you don't have an established homestead or farm, if you don't live in an area that you know for a fact is not a problem in terms of raising chickens, if you don't have a chicken coop, um, if you don't already have basic skills under your belt prior to raising any animals whatsoever beyond uh, a goldfish and maybe a gerbil, possibly a golden retriever, you need to stop what you're doing. Now, why am I saying that? It's very simple. Raising animals is a responsibility. Okay? It's no different than when you were a nine-year-old and you wanted a puppy for Christmas. You wanted a puppy, you played with the puppy. Ooh, look at the puppy, the puppy's so cute. Doopy, 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 doopy. And then after about two or three weeks, you got bored. Now what? Then all of these problems can arise and I can come up with so many different ones that would blow your mind if you've never heard of them. Is she prolapsed? Does she have coccidia? Um, have you checked her uh, crop? Um, is she egg bound? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people right now are rushing out to places like Rural King and Tractor Supply and they're depleting every single thing that's out there. I haven't bought the first baby chick this year, people. 
we've been in on this deal for weeks now and it's not just because I'm moving, it's because it's not working with my timing because I understand that. I personally like to get baby chicks later in the summer, later in the warm season. That way, if I do have them shipped to me, they get to me with ease and they kind of gap me in a time in which they molt. Have you ever heard of that one? I really don't want to talk to you like you're five. Let me tell you why I am. This is for people that have never had chickens or have ever raised chickens. And they're like, I'm throwing these things out there to you. So you go, what is she talking about? <laughs> it's a responsibility. If you want to get into homesteading responsibly and the smart way and the economic way to help you more than anybody, you need to look around and start with what you've got. Where are you and what can you do where you are? What are some tips to start? So I'm gonna bring you into the run and we're gonna talk about it. See, we're doing all this construction and work to prepare what's best for our hens, our turkey, our geese, our dogs, everything that's going on here because there's a lot to it. It's not difficult, but it's work. Can you make a loaf of bread? It doesn't have to be the best loaf of bread, but can you make one? That's where you need to start. Can you germinate basic seedlings in your home? Do you know how to do that? And the hardest ones that you need to consider to see if you can master are certain herbs. Tomatoes, what about peppers? How well do they grow in your little greenhouse where you live? Have you ever been successful with that? Why, why not? Maybe you should finesse that first. Can you can? Holy moly, can you make basic jams? I'm not even going with young jelly. I'm saying, can you get some basic strawberries or some basic apples and cook them up and mash them up and make them delicious in terms of being butters and uh, jams and can them? Simple water bath. Can you do, can you can? Because when you get into starting to take on animals, you have then graduated to the next level up in my personal opinion. You're gonna to have to be out in the elements taking care of these creatures. You're gonna to have to give them more time than you probably can have ever considered. And you're gonna to have to think about protecting them. You're gonna to have to think about health issues for them. You're gonna to have to make an effort every day, every other day. You or little Jimmy are gonna to have to go out and make sure they have fresh feed and fresh water and fresh essential items to make sure that they are productive and are predator free, parasite free, and all of these things. What I fear the most is that what we're about to see happen, and I do fear this, and I have already seen this happen with people, is the fact that I think you're gonna have people rush out to do all of these things, and hopefully, there's a good part in this, there's a silver lining in this, maybe in a couple of weeks, a couple of months, we're gonna be on the downturn of this incredible virus that has swept the world and we're going to start feeling a little bit better about ourselves and we're going to be walking out like we are uh you know <laughs> a, a ufc fighter you know how he walks like that you know what i'm talking about you know like popeye and we're going to go to the mall again and we're going to go to the beach and we're going to go hang out with friends again and we're going to go to the parks and we're going to start doing all of these things because we're no longer bored we are not gonna be probably quite as scared. And so the little chicky doo that's gonna be all out here, are they gonna get the time and attention that they need? You might wanna think about that. Now, I've gotten tons and tons of messages asking for all kinds of different videos. And I'm so thankful for you to be here and to watch and to, and you know, for those of you that are really serious, I appreciate you and I want you to be very successful, but I want you to be smart about it too. I had a girl message me. She went and bought 30 baby chicks. She wants help now on how to raise them. And she wanted help on identifying what they were. Well, honey, are you trying to raise meat birds? Are you trying to raise birds for um, just egg production? Or are you trying to raise them for both? Because if you're trying to have it for eggs and you just went and bought a bunch of Cornish cross hen, <laughs> little pullets, um, good luck with that. 
So don't be that person. Do not rush this massive responsibility. Now, I know some of you are like, it's just chickens. Uh, no, it's not just chickens. They deserve to have quality care and quality life just as anything else does, just like you do. So if you don't know what you're doing and you don't have an adequate spot for them and you're not really serious on in the long run, what are you going to do? Are you going to be culling them in your backyard with your neighbor watching? Oh, that's going to be lovely. Are you supposed to have birds to begin with? That could get a little bit sticky. So here's another issue, and you need to think about this. Because this is something that homesteaders that have active farms, that are active with all kinds of things that they're doing. Here's an issue. I had a, I knew some folks that had a farm and once I moved, all they wanted to do was to dump their animals off onto me. Can you take this pig? Can you take these hens? Can you take this horse? Can you take my donkey? Can you take my dog? I'm not kidding. We are not an animal shelter. Now, I will help and do whatever I can for any creature out there walking. And I will, you know, try to aid and provide and to assist however I can. But you can't dump your animals off because you're sick and tired of them. This is another bit of advice that I give to people that get on these whims about wanting livestock guardian dogs. They have no idea what they're doing. They just go and get them because they look like little polar bears. And in about nine months from now, they don't understand why that creature is behaving the way in which it is. Don't do that. So what do you need to do? You have got to do your homework. Even if it's just reading a couple of books, watching 10 or 20 videos, sit down, think about it, start slow. Start with what you know. But if you're insistent upon getting chickens, let me show you a couple of books that are very helpful and are some of my favorites. Okay, real quick. This is one of the first books I ever had many, many moons ago, probably still very popular. It's a great book. It's a basic overall guide on homesteading. Very minimal homesteading skills in terms of starting out. In other words, you, this is a no-fail situation. It's going to start you from the very, very beginning, which is always good for anybody. If I'm learning a new skill, talk to me like I'm five. Teach me from the beginning. It's okay as long as I get a great start. From canning to making wine. Oh, look. Feathering means butchering time. What are we talking about here? Ducks and geese. So from ducks to geese to chickens, turkeys, wine, canning, bread. Look at this. Teas, herbs, gardening, harvesting, cider making. This is a fantastic book to start with. Now, if you're jumping over into the chicken category... It doesn't get any more professional than Gail Damero. She is a living guru, okay? I'm just going to give credit where credit is due, folks. It doesn't get any finer than Gail Damero. She has multiple, multiple, multiple books. Google her name. I highly advise you get her chicken books. And there are many, many variations of them. This is one that I really was sent to me from Story Publishing, uh, and I reviewed it. And I absolutely loved it. What an honor it was to do that. Managing a breeder flock. So you're going to be talking about breeds and colors and feathers and eggs and why and history and butchering and who's your mama and brooders. She is the guru. Now, there is another one right here, which is really nice. If you're looking up something very specific, you can see anything that could pertain to something to do with a chicken. Help a chicken, feed a chicken, something with a chicken. Style a chicken, breed a chicken, color a chicken. You look it up by the name. It's literally like an encyclopedia. So, Naked Neck. And it tells you everything you need to know about that. So, this is another great book for you to consider. And of course, by Miss Gail Damero. So remember, Rome wasn't built in a day. And I can tell you right now that a homestead isn't either. Educate yourself. Take the time right now to read a book or two. Get on YouTube. There's great channels out there for you to learn from. And I appreciate you being here on this one. Learn to make biscuits. Take your time, take a deep breath, and do this right. I would look at it as a season or three of trying to establish something. Sometimes being a little patient is going to give you a bigger reward in the end. And I'm telling you, 
knowing what you're doing and making sure you can do it in the area in which you live. What I mean by that is, is you might wanna contact your county, might wanna contact the courthouse, might wanna to speak to an attorney. You make sure that you can have chickens and do these things where you are before you go and you get all these cutie tootie little babies. And then once you figure out that you can't have them, who are you going to dump them off to then? There may not be anybody, then what? So, we appreciate you watching. We appreciate all of your questions. I hope I can help you out. Slow and steady wins the race, y'all. It really, really does. Take care. We have more videos coming your way. Check those books out. And there's many, many more by Miss Gail Damaro. And you will be amazed at all that you're going to learn. Stay the course. See you on the next video.